So we had this old TV stand wall unit slash storage unit that we were going to get rid of and uh, so I ended up taking it all apart and these are some of the pieces and I just couldn't bring myself to just throwing them out and I've been hanging on to them for a while trying to figure out what I could do with them and you know try and make something else out of them so it finally hit me maybe I'll make a fermentation chamber out of them right now basically what I'm doing is I've got that table over there that I set it up there and ferment or I've got one over here small little table that we made for fermentation so we'll try and come up with something a little bit nicer with this stuff so here's the fermentation cabinet that I came up with out of those old parts and pieces of that old TV stand wall unit thing we had um, I don't really I don't have any temperature control in it right now. I'm not too concerned about that. The temperature down here stays in the mid to upper 60s, so it works out pretty well anyway. Um, but again, I didn't want to throw all these parts away, and this is what I came up with, and um, seems to, looks looks pretty good, I think. Um, and a couple of issues that it, it really didn't turn out to be as tall as I thought. Um, so I might not be able to transfer into the keg right from there because of the, I don't know if it'll siphon properly, but I'm going to find out. Anyway, it looks pretty good and um, I'll give it a quick open up here and show you the inside and you can see that it's pretty tight in there, pretty tall inside. Uh, the airlock is pretty close to the top on the inside, but I've got a solution for that um, so I can access it and you know refill the airlock or even get in there to to take a, a sample out for testing I'll show you that So you can see how close it is up there and you can see my fancy uh, Harbor Freight light. <laughs> it works though. But I have, a, I have a solution for that problem up there. Let's see if I can do this. Come up on here and push this lid. You get a grip on it. And then we'll just open it up. That hinge is open and then I got full access to the airlock. So that works out pretty well. And again, we'll, I'll wait and see if I can, if I'm able to transfer into the keg from here. Well, I'm just kind of concerned about it because of the height, but we'll see. So here we are trying to transfer it into the keg. So far, so good. It's working. So it made it all the way down to the bottom. That's good. I had to tip the carboy to get to the very bottom of it, but that's what I normally do anyway. But uh, it siphoned it all out, so that worked pretty well. Good to see.